Hey everyone, welcome to Entreport Use Cases. My name is Sam and today we're gonna to be talking about how to educate your audience and close more sales with webinars. So if you're not familiar with what webinars are, they are live or recorded online demonstrations that serve to grow your business by educating and engaging leads using relevant content, thereby increasing the likelihood of a sale. Okay, so that's kind of a mouthful. Don't worry, I'm gonna break this down for you. So a webinar is a live, like I said, a live or recorded online demonstration, right? Whether you're on camera or you're talking over slides or whatever it is, you're using some sort of a software like GoToWebinar or YouTube or something like that to broadcast what you're talking about to a mass audience, right? So I can go online and attend your webinar from Santa Barbara even if you live in you know, Hong Kong, China, right? So that's sort of the technology and what they are, but the purpose that they serve is either a really good sales or nurturing tool, right? So why would you wanna do something like this? The first reason is to engage your audience one to many. So like I said, uh, no matter where you are or what your topic is, you can host a webinar where multiple people can attend at the same time and see and consume the same content, right? So if I do a webinar about Entreport, say, I can have like 500 people come to my webinar, so I only have to give that presentation one time. I don't have to give it once to every single person. So it's a really great tool for one-to-many communication. Two, raise your brand awareness. So this is just another tool in your arsenal to market your brand and your product another way to give content in order to receive leads or potentially sales. So another, you know, just another tool in the toolbox. Three, significantly boost sales. So webinars have proven that they're extremely efficient at, at converting leads, people who have never heard of your product or service, who come to your webinar, right? Maybe you advertise it, maybe you do a joint venture partnership or something like that, but you're getting people to attend your webinar who have never heard of you, but it gives you a platform to describe who you are, what you do, and why they want your product which can significantly boost your sales, especially in the time frame we're talking about, right? If you promote a, a webinar for a week, you, do, you hold the webinar and it's an hour long, a week and an hour ain't too bad to get some good conversion rates on sales. Finally, repurpose content for future revenue streams. So this is a big one. This is one of the reasons that we do uh, workshops and webinars and things like that is that it allows us to record those webinars, whether they be educational or whatever, and use it either as training materials for our sales team or uh, videos that we can play at conferences or content that we can send out to our leads for free. Whatever it is, it's another way to generate content and repurpose it anywhere else in your funnel or in your business. So really good stuff there. Okay, so we got two examples as always for you. First one here uh, is what we call a launch setup, but I don't want you to get too hung up on the word launch because launch usually implies some sort of an internet marketing like four days left to buy my coaching plan thing but this actually has uh, applications across all industries. Let's take water heaters, for example. Let's say that I sell water heaters, right? I may do a promotion for a webinar. Maybe I host a webinar once a week to talk about the importance of water heaters and the importance of certain kinds of water heaters, right? The technology that makes a good water heater versus a bad water heater. So I generate leads to attend my webinar. I send them announcement emails and reminder emails saying, hey, don't forget about my webinar next Tuesday at three, three o'clock in the afternoon or whatever and all these emails link to my webinar registration form. Now, when it comes to the actual webinar itself, sort of this part of the funnel, you have a bunch of options. Like I mentioned before, you can use GoToWebinar, you can use YouTube, there's a bunch of tools out there that do webinars. Um, Evergreen Business Systems, I believe, is, is still around. Um, webinar Jam, there's a, there's a bunch of tools, right? And most of them integrate with Entreport, or you can find a way to integrate them with Entreport, so I encourage you to find the one that best fits your needs and your, and your price range, really. So anyway, what they will all have in common though, is a way for people to register for the webinar. So you send them those emails, you link them to the registration, they register, then we email them uh, a reminder that says, hey, don't forget the actual thing is on Tuesday. And then they come to the webinar, you got a link in there to the actual live webinar. They go to the webinar and then potentially make a purchase for my water heaters, right? Because I can spend the whole hour or two hours or however long talking about the importance of water heaters, why my product is better than the competitors, and you know, maybe offer a discount you know, for people who attended this webinar, 20% off, that kind of a thing, right? So that's one way you can use this funnel. Another way is yes, if you sell some sort of a coaching platform or you're doing a joint ventureship or something that you might be more familiar with, this, this works just as well. You, know, you replace the content and you're good to go. Okay, second option here, coaching calls. So coaching calls are sort of one-to-one. -one. You can still do small group coaching calls. You know, one example of this would be here at Entreport, we have a yearly, uh, what we call Business Acceleration Masterclass, which is taught by our CEO and our president, Landon and Lena. And they have a small group that hop on the phone all at the same time, you know, I think it's once a quarter or something like that. And they teach something, right? Or they take questions or whatever it is that they're doing, but some sort of a coaching call, 
right? So the lead visits your website, they sign up for a free coaching call in this example. So that's, that's one example of a paid coaching call, like somebody paid to get into our business acceleration masterclass, so we deliver on our promise by giving them coaching calls. Another great option though is if you're in a service business, you can give away coaching calls as a freebie to get leads, right? So let's say you're a fitness coach, right? And you go on your website, they go on your website and it says, hey, get a free 30 minute consultation with me for a meal plan and a workout routine, right? So they sign up for that, they receive an email that says, hey, great, thank you so much. Uh, and then a reminder for when their coaching call is, then we actually do the coaching call. So I get on the phone and I, not that I'm qualified, but I say, you need to eat nothing but chicken and brown rice and squat 100 times a day or whatever. whatever. They do their coaching call and then theoretically, at the end of that call, we offer them our product or service, right? So we say, hey, you know, try that out for a week, come back, if you like it, I have a really good personal training program. And then we give them an opportunity to buy. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, where's the webinar, right? Like this doesn't, this doesn't seem like a webinar. It is though, because the technology is the same. You are still getting on camera, presenting, or on the phone, you can do this on the phone as well, but you're still presenting information, demonstrating information to a consumer in some online medium, right? So that's sort of what we're talking about here when we talk about webinars. And again, this can be small group, right? This can be small group, you don't have to do one-on-one. -on -one. And another thing I wanna mention really quickly, because I mentioned it earlier, this can be live or recorded. So you can actually pre-record these and use different tools. There are tools out there that allow you to run pre-recorded webinars as if they were live. They call those evergreen webinars. So check that out if you're interested in that. And that about does it. So that's sort of, you know, webinars and automation in a box here. Uh, so if you have any questions, please read on. We got tons more information down below and examples on how you can use this in your business. We got tons more use cases just like this, and we'll see you next time.